Hey fellas, welcome back to the Daily Ride. I hope you guys are doing well. Today's focal passage comes from John 8, 36, which says, Therefore, if the Son makes you free, you shall be free indeed. The Daily Fire thought for today is, is that today I walk in the freedom given to me by Christ Jesus, my Lord. The Mark My Word passages for today are Matthew 4, 19, John 8, 31 through 36, Philippians 4, 13, and Colossians 1, 9 and 10. The scriptures that get us through the Bible in a year are Leviticus 10, Psalm 11 and 12, Proverbs 25, and 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. Today we're going to be talking about faith is a venture. One morning Jesus walked along the shingled edge of the Lake of Galilee and beckoned to fishermen. He said, follow me. Matthew 4.19 and at that moment everything began for them. Before it had only been fish and it became people action and changing world history with ever increasing faith and effects. Jesus didn't call them nor you nor me to switch off the smiles and wear sackcloth and turn ordinary people into stick in the mud people. He was not so conventional himself. The disciples caught people. He was not so conventional himself. The disciples caught uh, the bubbling spirit which challenged the stuffy establishment. He showed them new things, especially faith and love, and by them they conquered the world. God is the deliverer, the emancipator, of, and the, the savior. He is God only to the free. Faith is a venture that turns life into an adventure. Doubts get us nowhere. They are mooring ropes. Believing God means that we must cast off like ships designed for riding the high seas and going somewhere. Faith inspires, doubt paralyzes. Faith says I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, Philippians 4.13. Unbelief does nothing. Faith in God is exciting. Unbelief is depressing. If you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free, John 8.31-32. We become what we are born to be only when we are born again by faith in Jesus Christ. Therefore, if the Son makes you free, you will be free indeed, John 8, 36. The world's greatest book on freedom is the Bible. The very idea of freedom came from the Bible, not Greece or Rome. Read it. Remember, God made the first free nation ever seen on the earth Israel and he wants to put a sense of liberty in our very souls God opposes tyranny the Bible makes us freeborn sons of God for this reason we also since the day we heard it do not cease to pray for you and to ask that you be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding that you may walk worthy of the Lord fully pleasing him being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God Colossians 1 9 and 10 go and walk in your godly freedom today in Jesus name God bless you guys I hope you'll continually follow me here on the daily ride and I'll see you on the next trail ride